Master and Founders 3 Model S. And uh, what was astonishing to us was the Model S has panel gap issues all around the car. And um, apparently the owner of this vehicle went to Tess and said, look, can we fix this? He said, well, we really don't have our production methods dialed in well yet. D um, can you confirm that? Absolutely, I can confirm. Okay. It was, uh, <laughs> it was uh, yeah, I don't know. But now I want to tell that story. But there was, uh, the tooling was built wrong. It wasn't built by an aluminum panel uh, um, uh, tooling expert. Uh, you know, their expertise was in steel because right. one of the V was associated with a company that never built aluminum cars. Okay. And somebody can forensically go through when I say and figure out these people, but I'm not going to call them out. And uh, I knew this later because I had a very, I had a very close relationship with an engineer who told me what happened. And we, we, they stamped all those aluminum panels and they didn't have the right uh, pre-curvature for aluminum, which snaps back, springs back in a different uh, way. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nobody knows this stuff. <laughs> right. And so uh, they made all those dies. I mean, we're talking lots of money. And yeah. uh, so the, the gap and flesh issues, and there may be more because I wasn't a body engineer. This is just one anecdote. Yeah, this is the, the this is the problem with information. It's not it's not uh, binary. It's not the be all end all. This is just a contributing factor, uh, and so a lot of the panels didn't have the right. Uh, that's why the hoods on a lot of Model S's were proud. They yeah, it up yeah, because it's a huge piece of metal and it sprung back. Right, they fought that for a while, and uh, eventually they got it right. Yeah, well, you know. Um, all is not lost here because uh, this customer asked us, um, or we spoke about the potential for repairing this, and I think he made the right call. He says, no, leave it. This is an artifact that makes this car rare and collectible. It's yep. the third one. It's the third Founder Series, and we need to be able to preserve history. And uh, so when you, know, when you look at this car, you look at the gaps in the panels and the things that you described, like the hood sits a little bit high. And it makes perfect sense. It's yeah. the spring back in the aluminum that was the problem. Yeah. yeah, you can't make this stuff up. But I mean, it happened. You know, yeah. I know that it happened. Uh, I can't, and like I said, I can't say that it was the only reason why those things happened. But it's almost like the valuable stamp where the airplane was upside down. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why would you fix that? You know, not that you could fix that, but it's like, you're right. I didn't even think about it that way, but it's almost like, it's Founders 3. Why would you, it's just like part of the, the nature of the flaws. You wouldn't do that to an old Bugatti that had some sort of engineer, you know, manufacturing flaw. You wouldn't fix it, right? Right. You know, the roaster has the same issue, of course. In the hood vein, there's some carbon fiber dimpling that is coming through the paint. Uh, same problem. Uh, yeah, on the underside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is actually on the top side as well. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know what that was from, right there? Those were bad bolts uh, from the first. I, if they were early, early cars. They were air bubbles from the molds. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, these cars are being sold with those imperfections clearly detailed. And uh, it's on our website, by the way, under the, we have it under Roadster Matchmaking right now, but we're going to expand that to some of the other Tesla vehicles. So if anybody wants to see that, there's a video and uh, some of those pictures. All right, Jameson, looks like we've got some more questions here. Joey's cleaning. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. Drop a like or comment and be sure to see us live.